Ask anyone and they'll tell you $1,000 is a lot of money, especially if it's the last paycheck you're going to get for a while. Absolutely, but what happens when your former employer won't give you that money? It happened to a triad woman, so she called Two Wants to Know's Kevin Kennedy. Many of us have had a job, didn't love it, and quit. I had given notice because I had been offered another job. Melissa McPherson's story is not that simple. Hired during the pandemic, there were immediate problems. The girl who trained me for my first two weeks there, she got COVID. Melissa tested. It came back negative. Corporate involved. We got an email from corporate saying that we needed to shut the offices down. And my branch manager stated that we were not doing that. Melissa working another week, but she had concerns for employees and customers. It did not feel safe at all. Um, not only was there an issue in our office, but we had team members going into people's houses. Melissa would quit less than a month after her hiring. The issue then, getting her check. I said, I need to know if my check has been mailed. If you can't let me know if my check has been mailed or if I haven't gotten it in the next two days, I'm contacting my local news station. The check didn't arrive. Money she needed. Our phone rang. I have a 13-year-old child at home, and it was, it was necessary that we get that check. We contacted someone in the corporate office. 48 hours later, the check was hand-delivered. By Friday, sometime Friday, they hand-delivered my check and stuck it in my front door. Here's a picture of that check, almost $1,000. You have no idea how much I appreciate it, how much I needed this assistance. Her bank also waiving a handful of overdraft charges. Melissa able to pay her bills with the money. Kevin Kennedy, two wants to know.